Okay, let's go ahead and start off with just two quick scientific terms that are gonna help boost your club head speed and they're gonna help you square the club face up consistently. One is the club's center of mass or the balance point of the club, right? Which is right about here in space. The other one is called the net force. And basically it's just the path that your hands are taking, you know, and what that ends up doing to this center of mass. So an analogy that I've used often in the past is one of a, a, a water skier and a ski boat, okay? So you imagine, say I'm the water skier here, and say the boat is traveling down that orange line, right? And here I am, maybe back in this zone right here, got my, my handle, right? I'm on my skis, and this boat is pulling me in at a very rapid pace. That's a lot like what happens in a golf swing, at least in a good golf swing. So right here, the center mass of the club is coming down and it's trailing behind the path of the hands in a good swing. So you'll see so many good players here. Take a look at some of these videos. As they come down, the center mass always stays behind the path of the hands. What happens is a lot of times players get this center mass to start getting outside. So you, you imagine if that was happening and the water skier gets over on this side, everything starts to slow down, right? In terms of the path of that rope. So in order for us to, number one, go the fastest, we need to make sure that this center of mass stays slightly behind the hands, and then it really starts to accelerate out and speed up and square up more efficiently and more effectively. But there's so many people there where that center of mass starts to kick out like this. Boom, as soon as this happens, we really see a large slowing. Now they've got to start pulling it back this way, Everything really kind of hits a wall and slows down. Maybe the body stands up, but there's gonna definitely be some adverse effects. We're not gonna get that free boost of speed that we can see so often. Like take a look at some of this footage here. This is footage of a skier that hits 60 miles per hour by the time he hits the ramp. The boat's going around 30. He actually literally hits this jump and passes the boat because he was able to correctly time that center of mass shallowing and staying behind his hand path. It stays behind, behind until just right in this zone, it finally kicks out and squares up. Now, some things that are really important as you're doing this is being able to manage this center of mass in your backswing. Like say for instance, if I take the club back and I move the center of mass over in this direction, you're gonna see my first movement here is I'm gonna start to come down with my hands and that center of mass is going to go outside the hand path and we're going to get that big slowing effect again. So it's always best in your backswing to be able to take the club and have the center of mass in some, in some form or fashion a little bit more on the vertical side rather than something that's over here, right? So if you're doing any of this in the backswing by rotating this left arm prematurely, shoulders working like this, we're gonna see something that's not gonna be good as you start coming down. That center of mass is gonna kick out and slow down like hitting a brick wall. Hey, it's your coach Zach Allen here, and I hope you're enjoying today's lesson. In all of my years of coaching and studying the golf swing, I've discovered there's only one thing that separates the best ball strikers in the world from the rest of us. I call it the magic move, and you can use it to generate effortless power and consistency in your game. Since I don't have the time in this short video, I've put together a three-part web class where I show you everything you need to know, nothing held back. I call it my Magic Move Training Series, and you can get the entire thing free of charge by clicking the link in the description below. You won't find these videos anywhere else, so click the link right now and join the over 100,000 golfers who have already gone through this incredible training. And now, let's jump back into today's lesson. So as you're doing all this, right, just really kind of want to make sure that we've got some steepness to the shoulders, a little bit of steepness to the shaft. And now as I transition, boy, that boat starts to accelerate, right? That's, that ski boat starts to accelerate in that direction. The skier falls back behind the path of the hands, and now he's getting accelerated until bang, he finally hits that ramp and accelerates right through the golf ball, right? I hope these things really kind of help you out. They've helped a lot of my students just kind of using some of these other analogies with ski boats, water skiers. Not that you have, have done those things before, you don't need to, but as you see them visually, you see how you can pick up on all this free speed and this free squaring action when it's timed correctly. It's a lot of effortless movement that really helps to, um, 
you know, consistently help you hit it straighter, right? So you're not manually trying to make that club go straight like so many of us out there are doing, right? Um, I hope these things help you out. They've definitely helped my students here in person. If I've ever helped you out in the past, like I would love it if you could like or subscribe to my channel. It really helps keep momentum going. It helps people seeing more of my videos. You'll be able to see my videos right when they come out. And if you're really interested in more stuff or more topics that are about shallowing the club, I have a few different ones that relate to other sports like baseball, like cricket, like hockey. So that video is right here. Go ahead and take a look. They've got thousands and thousands of views. They've already helped tons of golfers start to shallow that center of mass. Have a great day.